Randy Hunt. Uh, we're back with Patriot TV. Uh, it's basketball season. Football's over. I'm here with uh, Coach Chad Perkins. Uh, Coach, is our first installment for uh, Patriot basketball. Uh, let's start uh, talking a little bit about uh, the last last year or two. We, I know a couple years back we were struggling. Uh, last year, I think we started off in the right direction, and uh, uh, we had. Uh, I think we ended up with about a 500 mark. Uh, lost a couple seniors from last year, but uh, let's talk about last year a little bit, uh, and you know what we saw last, what happened last year. Uh, you know, we we kind of climbed the mountain, climbing out of the hole, getting back to respectability, and uh, we were two years ago nine and nine, um, which was a pretty good mark for us. And then, uh, you know, I, I really think we probably underachieved a little bit last year. Um, we had big expectations, and we had a, not a bad year, but. I think we all expected a little bit more. Um, and part of that, I saw a better team coming, upgraded the schedule, got in the big Atlantic Classic. So there were not many cupcakes there. And, uh, you know, when you play a schedule like that, you better come to play every night or you're going to be in trouble. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we lost about five or six really close games that could have went the other way. And then you got a whole different season. But, you know, it is what it is. We didn't really get the job done. Uh, course from that team we lost uh, your son Aaron Hunt um, good three-year starter for us uh, lost Adam Tolliver um, very skilled guard and Chris Mills um, three-point shooter extraordinaire um, so you know we we've lost some people we feel like we have some people a lot of people back and then we've got some new additions to help fill in the holes there uh, yeah I, I know that every every summer I've been involved with summer leagues the past couple of years and I know they played in uh, the summer league at Woodrow again this year, and uh, I think they had a couple AU tournaments. And from I wasn't there for a lot of it, but according to what I heard, they had a pretty good summer. Yeah, I mean, it, summer really is spring and summer and fall. You know, uh, of course, the fall the football took most of them, but uh, yeah, they they were very eager to get out there and play. And um, we had our new addition, Dylan Dickens, playing with us through some of that, and uh, had a lot of success. Uh, you know, just typical ups and downs, but as long as they're playing basketball, they're improving, and uh, they, they feel pretty confident, I think, going out to play anybody you put in front of them. Uh, yeah, speaking uh, of players, I know you've got a lot of experience. Like you said, over the last couple of years, played a lot of different guys uh, in and out of the lineup. Uh, Tyler Haga, Marcus Guy, both uh, All-State, um, as far as uh, being on the All-State list from last year. Uh, we've got uh, Logan Kelly's a senior with a whole lot of uh, game experience. And Kyle Saunders has had a lot of game experience uh, playing since he's a sophomore. And then we got a transfer in Dylan Dickens. I've known Dylan since he was in grade school. Uh, so I've watched him grow up. And uh, I, I, know, I know knowing these guys, their expectations are pretty high. Yeah, I mean, we bring back a lot of experience, um, a lot of size. All, this, all the ingredients, I guess you could say, are there for success. Uh, but again, the ingredients for success have been there before, and you you have to go out and get the job done. And um, of course, Tyler was a, I think a second team All State. Marcus was honorable mention, uh, and Logan Kelly I really think is going to surprise people this year. He was sick most of the year last year, and I just don't think people realize how good of a player he is. Uh, Kyle's uh, Mr. Consistency, uh, you know, very few mistakes, very efficient basketball player. And then you throw uh, Dylan in the transfer there that he's a, an automatic double-double. Uh, he's really fit in well, and he's just really a strong, tough kid, good finisher. And let's not forget about Nick Kostinko. Uh, Kostinko will probably be the sixth man, and he can play any position, offense or defense, and he has been playing fantastic. I remember walking in the gym uh, back in the summer, and I said, who is that? Who is that? tall kid there it was nick and I've, I've i've watched nick play since middle school and he's he's put some height on and a little weight so he's uh he's he's ready to go uh games it's almost season time here i know these guys are they're, they're always you always get tired of practice <laughs> before the season starts uh they put a lot of work in and uh this friday we got to travel to greenbrier west and then next next week we have a couple home games with James Monroe and Liberty. Uh, so this Friday we're at West. What uh, what can you tell us about Greenbrier West? Uh, Coach Saunders and I went and watched them last night. Um, 
And they're kind of uh, following the pattern that we followed. They were 0-19 a few years ago, and then they got a little better and a little better, and they're kind of expecting a breakout year. Um, they're probably a little further behind in their development than us. I, I definitely consider us a favorite in the game. Um, but they're good enough to beat you. Like a lot of teams, that if you just don't go play, they're going to beat you. Um, but they have two six eight twins uh, and uh, – it's a couple other good guys back, so we'll definitely have our hands full. Yeah, I remember the Twins last year, and they've, they've got a year's experience now. So, the, yeah. Um, and then we have James Monroe. I know James Monroe was a tough game for us last year. We went down there, and uh, I, I think the, the the long ride got to us, and they they I think I felt like they upset us when we were down there last year. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what they've lost or gained this year. Um, well, actually, Coach Saunders and I went to Montcalm to scout Greenbrier West, and uh, Coach Cuthbert and his son Mark went to Summers County to scout Monroe. <clears throat> I haven't been to practice yet today, so I haven't got to talk to Coach, but I know Monroe has a new coach, so not much point watching film from last year, but, uh, you know, they did win. They they won a big game down in Summers County. Um, I know a player, Dominic Lewis, uh, fantastic little guard for them, uh, he, he had 24 against Summers last night and had a big game against us. It was hard to handle. So they do have some talent. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of just focused on West a little bit right now, and we'll have have some stuff ready for them when we get to them. Okay. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, like I say, we're away Friday night. We'll be home Tuesday and Friday next week. We've got James Monroe Tuesday night. Liberty next Friday night. Expecting big crowds to pack the place out going to be a good year we need a lot of people here to cheer them on and uh again thanks coach uh we'll be getting together every week or two and keep up with the season and keep our fans and know uh with uh, up to date with what's going on and uh, and appreciate you meeting with us and we'll see you again soon thanks, all right hey coach this is randy Hunt with patriot tv